going to show you the masking up process for when you're doing your fence panels or a garden building or cladding. It will be useful for doing all various types of things but specifically for today uh, I'm going to show you how I do the fence panels when you've got concrete posts and concrete bases. So as I said earlier in the video uh, we don't want to get paint splashes and flicks all over the concrete. It just looks untidy, messy, unprofessional. So if you want to do a really good job and impress, then this is the way forward. And I'll just give you a few handy tips on how we can do this. So I'll show you the equipment we've got. Got a couple of masking tapes here. Now that's what you're probably familiar with. It's just general purpose masking tape. And what you'll have to what you'll find is concrete posts. Uh, we'll have different textures and so on and just to be on the safe side I want to show you two different ones that's the general masking tape you'll find that that's a little bit cheaper but you will not get a straight line on that um, when you're doing detailed work that doesn't necessarily matter but what does matter is the strength in which it sticks and the amount of time it lasts when it goes on the surface and because it's this is outside um, you may say, for example, put it on, um, and then you will, and then you can't finish the job, and then you want to leave it on till the next day, or even two days, or even three days. That will only be good for one day, probably. So, if you buy something like this, uh, this is there's so many different variants of masking tape from different manufacturers, but this is by a company called Mask, um, and this is designed to go on sort of rougher harder to stick to uh, places so a fence an exterior concrete post is ideal and it will last longer you will get longer time out of this and it will be more moisture resistant if you get a little bit of a shower or something like that so but i will show you both uh, we've got some brown masking paper so we've got a 300 mil one for wider places so you may want to put that on the bases um, if you haven't got any card which is what this for and I'll explain what that's for in a moment you've got your 150 mil which is perfect for these posts uh, the posts I think are four inch wide that's what I'm going to be using and showing you today um, that's a hand masker and I'll show you how to put you may not have one of these you, you'll have to do it by hand, but I'll also show you how to do it with a hand masker. They can be very useful if you're doing a lot of masking. They're great. I've got some sprung clamps, and I'll show you what I use them for and what they come in handy for. And we'll come back to this, which is the cardboard. Now, basically, this is just branded cardboard, but this is done specifically for masking purposes. You can use your own cardboard. You, what I would advise is if when you get deliveries, um, keep your cardboard, cut them into pieces like this, they'll always come in handy. Um, but for this purpose, I'm going to be using this stuff, it's made by the same brand as the masking gun, uh, the hand masker. So, well, first of all, we get the tape, I just want to show you. Right, so here is the post going to show you first of all we try the general masking tape if you think you're going to get done in one day like i say this should be good enough but what you do is we put the tape on right up to the edge of where oh, go again see it's not the most stickiest so you have to be careful just put it on the edge now what i do is I'll just slightly wrap around like so, like that. Make sure you get it in. It doesn't really matter because inside there, you're not going to be seeing. And it's only an outside fence. So, run the masking tape all the way down to the bottom, like so. Now, this is the way we would do it if we were painting. I would basically just stick. A piece of masking on this side of the post and I would stick another piece of masking on this side of the post as so now this tape which is a stronger tape I will just show you 
I mean, you can tell when you feel it's a cracking tape, this. So, this one. Like so. And there you go. You don't have to wrap it round. You can just leave it like that. In fact, by not wrapping round, it will then be more helpful with flicks from the paintbrush actually getting where you don't want it. That's a bit of extra protection there, so leave that as it is. Right, so generally I would just stick a piece on the top there. You may want to just stick a piece there, like so. Stop flicks getting on the top, that top needs to be protected, like so. So it depends how far you want to go. I could, you know, I could go on and on and on. But um, when you're painting, you'll be cutting in. You don't want to be getting it on that bit there. Now, just let me say, ideally, so it's as simple as that. Ideally, you want to be taking panels out when you're painting or spraying and lifting them back in. On these particular ones, it's doable, but when you've got five foot, six foot fence panels as I've got over there, especially when you're on the own, it's difficult to get them in and out. So I wouldn't advise it. So this is why we're masking up, but it is as simple as that. You are not gonna get any paint on that side and that side when painting. You're not gonna get any paint on the top there. So that's it. So when you're painting, that is good enough. Now I just wanna show you what these are for so we would do i would do this whether i was painting or whether i was spraying i would do it for both you can simply wedge the cardboard underneath like so overlap it slightly like so And go all the way to the end so it's put up now I've taped that so that's fine it's not gonna get on there on this side would be taped up as that side is so you don't have to worry about it not being protected so the only thing I've got left to show you now is um, if I was doing a spray job this wouldn't be good enough on the posts. That's simply not good enough. So I would just wrap them round like so. And then I would get my brown paper. And this is what the brown paper's for. So, 150 mil brown paper, hand masker. So, brown paper shoves on all the way. You want to make sure the paper runs like so. So the paper's coming off on the top. The masking tape then is pushed onto this part. like so it is a bit fidgety by the way this just persevere if you are using this then that flap there that comes up now try and get this tape as straight as possible on there to start with otherwise there'll be issues so you put the tape on one and a half centimeters roughly say drop the flap back down and then you should be good to go. So pull it out, give it a trial run. As you can see, that's fine. Tear it off like so, you're good to go. So what I do now is start again on this bit. Oh. 
re-stick it. Now, you can actually do this from the very start, but it's a bit more difficult getting it right in, which is why I tape first. So, this just makes it a little bit easier. So to snap off, it's a case of just like so, and then go down to the bottom. You can finish off with a little bit at the bottom there as well. But what happens now is, right, so what we do here, because it is a midges wider than what we want, you basically just run it round and then run the masking tape back up. This is what I would do. So just make a start there, re-stick it, like we did on the other side. Just make sure it's not touching the fence. Stick the tape on, like so. And obviously, they would go in afterwards normally. And you can just wrap that round. You've got a gap there, you don't want a gap there. Grab a little bit more tape. It is tough, this stuff. Fold it in. Jobs are good. Un. So when we're spraying that now, it's completely sealed. There's going to be nothing getting on that post when it's sprayed. It's overkill that if you're painting. Don't forget, you don't need the brown paper. So now all I've got left to show you is how we're going to protect the other side of the fence. So if I was, if I'm painting or spraying you probably get away with it when you're painting but if over this side is your next door neighbor's garden they might have furniture they might have a nice clean patio even the plants and flowers you don't want to be getting paint and you don't want to be getting mist on um, overspray on next door neighbor's equipment full stop so i'm going to show you how i do that now so this is where the cardboard and these clips come in handy so You'd have the cardboard at the bottom, obviously, but when you're coming along with the spray gun, you might have to do it in stages, unfortunately. Um, but you can just move it as you go along. So I'd simply put the piece of cardboard, wedge it in there, that side, like so. Get your clamp and simply do that. Now, you start in here, you're working your way along, you then have to move it. If there's any excess buildup of paint on there, give it a quick wipe, simply move it along. You may have bigger pieces of cardboard, which are very useful. Now what I've found is if your clamps are strong enough, you won't even need to clamp both sides. You just clamp one side and it'll stay there, it's rigid enough, and then move it across. Wedge it in that side, like so. And put the clamp on this side. It's that simple. So guys, don't worry about having to get, go out and get the, this stuff in particular. Just save your cardboard, save as much cardboard as possible. It really does come in useful for these types of jobs. So that's it. Everything's been prepared and you're ready to go at that point so i hope this has been useful please like the video if it's been useful any part of the video at all has been useful please give it a like it's important go through a lot of trouble take a lot of time to do these videos and i'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like if you really like it and you want to see more videos please subscribe and you'll get them that and click that note of that uh, bell notification to get further notifications of when I do new videos and there'll be more of them coming in the very near future guys so take care of yourself stay safe and I'll see you soon bye bye